Greetings and welcome to The Contracting Guy. I am The Contracting Guy. And today, <laughs> I found something that was really interesting. It is from the beachesofnormandy.com uh, site. I, I get their weekly information on upcoming tours and some historical information. It's great stuff. Really great stuff. In this particular uh, piece, it's about the M3 medium tank, also known as the, uh, I think it was the the Lee. What's interesting about this particular tank is that uh, nothing particularly special about it, but I wanted to talk about the acquisition aspect of this tank that makes it so interesting. So what was it? What I found was interesting in reading the uh, information from uh, Beaches of Normandy was that this, when this tank was put out and it was being produced, it was produced by I think it was four, four or five locations. One is a one such place was the Lima Locomotive Company down in Lima, Ohio. The other one was in in uh, the Detroit Arsenal, the Chrysler Detroit Tank Arsenal. Another one was play, called uh, American Locomotive Company. Now, notwithstanding uh, Detroit Arsenal in its most productive work, the uh, Lima Company slow walked. The solicitation and the contract through, so it never really produced anything regarding the M3 tank. As for the other one, which was really kind of a notable piece, the American uh, Locomotive Company finished the first M3 tank in 1941. This is, I quote, it and drove it past some senior officials in a small ceremony. Once the ceremony was over, they removed the transmission and sent it to Baldwin Locomotive Works, who installed it on their first tank completed, uh, first tank completed for its similar ceremony. So it's like here it is some serious shenanigans put on by American Locomotive Company in conjunction with Baldwin Locomotive Works. So I want to share that with you because contractors sometimes do things screwy, and if there is some collaboration or some Oh, I always say, you know, shenanigans, you know, you'll get burnt by them. I'm particularly uh, distressed over the fact that that during the period of war that this type of shenanigan occurred. But, you know, oftentimes, you know, companies like this jump in and seek profits and not necessarily production. And who does it hurt? It hurts the warfighter. So I hope that's helpful to you. Um, I'll leave a link in the information it provided. But also remember, Beaches of Normandy Tours, they provide great stuff. And while this is not an endorsement, I don't get paid by them. It is something in the history notebook of uh, of acquisition. Yeah, things like this happen. So uh, it's not clean. None of this stuff is clean. With that being said, this is the Contracting Guy. I'm out.